Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Chrome Soft Golf Ball from Callaway. Hello, I'm Damon Hack, and this is your Golf Central update. What a week it was on the LPGA Tour, which crowned a new first-time winner, Leona McGuire of Ireland, able to get it done at the drive-on championship. Final round, 67 for a three-shot win over Lexi Thompson, who shot 65. Now, Leona joined us earlier on Golf Today. Congratulations, first of all. I'm just curious, Leona, what's the coolest thing that's happened since your victory on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, the, the response has been a little overwhelming. That's just coming from, from all over. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know you're doing something right when the, the president is uh, tweeting at you, I guess. Now, I know, I think it was your mother's birthday on Sunday. What was the conversation like after you had, had your victory? Yeah, I mean, it was incredible. I guess they were they were watching back home in Ireland. Dad was Dad was actually too nervous to watch, so he only watched 18 when he pretty much knew it was was all over. But um, they, we had a lot of family and friends called by the house. It was it was mom's birthday, like you said, on on Sunday. So uh, I think they cut the cake a little early, and uh, the celebration started a few hours earlier than uh, it might have normally. Well, you know, a lot of people called you the best player or among the best players on the LPGA Tour without a win. They said that they saw this coming. How aware were you of that chatter, and did you feel any pressure uh, because of that chatter? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously been a point of conversation for a while. Obviously, when I graduated Duke and um, made my way up to this Magic Tour, and I think I came close a few times last year in, in Hawaii and at Meyer and Lydia and Nelly played better, and then I think Solheim sort of reignited that, that, those sort of conversations again. And um, tried not to think about it too much. Obviously, we'd never had a winner from Ireland before, so a lot of people in Ireland really wanted to see that victory happen. And went off social media on Friday night. Didn't didn't look at it because I knew that'd be a topic of conversation again. And I mean, just to try to stay as patient as I could. Figured that if I kept knocking on the door, eventually it'd open. And thankfully, uh, Saturday was the day. You mentioned the Solheim Cup, and we talked about it earlier in the show. Was there anything from that experience where you had such a successful week that you were able to pull from on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I just think that belief that my teammates had in me and, and Beanie and my partners, George and Mel, throughout that week, I think that was the big thing that week, that they probably believed in me more than I believed in myself. Um, and I suppose believing that I was good enough to be able to hit those shots when I need to, hold those shots when I needed to, and... Obviously, it's a little different doing it in, in an individual setting, but, um, yeah, it's pretty special to get this first one done. And, and nice to have a lot of my Soul Line Cup sort of teammates sending me messages and, and supporting me along the way, too. So the president's tweeting at you. Patrick Harrington's tweeting at you. I know you don't have a crystal ball, but how do you think that your victory will affect the dreams of young people uh, growing up in Ireland? Yeah, I mean, it wasn't long ago. So we didn't have a, an Irish person on the LPGA, let alone a winner. So, uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully there's there's some little girls at home in Ireland that watched watched on TV last week and figuring that if, if I can do it, why can't they do it? Obviously, it'll take a lot of hard work and, and some patience, but there's absolutely no reason why, why they can't do it too. And uh, we've had a lot of success on the men's side, so hopefully um, we'll get a few more girls out here um, on the LPGA in the next few years. When you went home last year after the Soheim Cup, there was a parade. You got to ride in a convertible around town. How's the city going to celebrate your victory? I don't know. I don't, I don't think we'll maybe do quite as big as we did for the Soheim. It might be a little chilly in Ireland this time of year to ride around in a gold uh, convertible BMW. But, uh, yeah, I think the celebrations are well and, well and truly underway, and it's, it's fantastic to see so many people taking joy from this as well that, they didn't get to see it there in person, but they got to sort of experience it with me. And I mean, Irish fans are, are the best fans in the world. Really feeling uh, the love from home right now. Leona McGuire making history, 27 years of age, first player representing Ireland to win on the LPGA Tour, finished 4 0 and 1 for the European team in the Solheim Cup in her debut last year and shot a final round 61 at the 2021 Amundi Evian Championship, tying a major championship record and, yes, decorated career at Duke where she was a two-time winner of the Annika Award. Fantastic week for Leona McGuire in Florida. Big week here for Golf Channel at the WM Phoenix Open. Have a great one, everybody.